McHale is with us in Orlando. Hi, McHale. How are you? I'm doing great. How about you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Well, I'm 17 years old, and I want to do it right. I've been watching your show for about four months now, and I'm all about it. I'm all about building wealth little by little, not getting into debt, being smart with my money, and investing it, and all of that. And I just want to do it right. I'm currently on my last year of high school. Of my last year of high school. I've been taking college classes, so by the time I graduate high school, I'm going to be one year ahead on my associate degree. I am also very close to getting my scholarship that will cover 75% of my tuition. Once I achieve that, I'm going to work my way through to get the 100% one. But I can assure you that I will get the 75% because I am so close. Man, you can and work, you can work, question. you can work, make money, and cover the rest, dude. You're on fire. Yeah. So what are you going to study? And, and statistics. Statistics. Okay. What do you want yeah. to do for your yeah. career? Uh, well, I want to be a data analyst. analyst. Okay. Well, you're right. You're not, I don't think there's anything stopping you. How can yeah, I help I know, you? I know. Well, I just, I just want since I want to do it right. I want to know, I want to know what should I be doing after high school? You know, I can get a job, or should I start investing? Should I start setting up? Or what should I be doing? That's all my question. I can think of no better person to invest in or with than the guy I'm talking to right now. You are going to give yourself a great return on investment. You're a go-getter. You're a hustler. You're go. You're goal-oriented. I mean, I can't get 57-year-olds to think like you think, and you're 17. It's amazing. Well done. So all of that to say, investing in a mutual fund is not going to give you the rate of return that investing in you will give you. So I want you to study and get your degree, and I want you to pay cash for it, no debt, and I want you to have money to go all the way through college and eat real food while you're doing that and everything, not just ramen noodles, right, not just beans and rice, college food, we call it. But, I mean, you, you know, you you can work like a crazy man, but I want you to just pile that cash up, and that pile of cash is an insurance policy that not only you graduate, and not only that you graduate debt-free, but that you graduate debt-free in style with honor because you aren't worried about money. You had the scholarships and the money piled up and everything else, so you don't need to put a dime in mutual funds until you graduate from college. When you graduate from college, now you go get the the big boy job, right? And you start making some serious bank as a data, anal- data analyst. You should be able to. And uh, real quickly, you start you know, moving on up through the baby steps, and you're going to jump right up to baby step four real quick here and start investing 15% of your income, get your first house, get it paid off, and, dude, you're on your way. You, yeah, I can't wait to talk to the 27-year-old version of you in 10 years. You are going places, man. Very cool. Thanks for calling in. That call there was placed there by God just for you that were wondering if this nation had a future. You were wondering if we were all going to die because all young people are idiots. You were wondering about that. And that call was placed there by God just to say, no, we're not all going to die. They're not all idiots. There are some awesome McHales out there. And there's more of them than there are the others. Every generation has had idiots. Every generation. Baby boomers, my generation. We had to corner on idiot for a while. I mean, (laughs) yeah, we invented some stuff that this society is still paying for. Yeah, we learned new ways to sin. It was unbelievable. We invented new stuff. So every generation's had its idiots, but every generation's got its McHales, and you're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. You talk to a 17-year-old like that, you just go, boom, we're going to be all right.